grave. Okay. Here's a little something. That's kind of cool. It's an older shirt. That's a vintage shirt right there. 49ers. That's also a vintage. We just got some boxes out here, and guys, look what I found. That's a military bag right there. But this guy right here. Look at this. What's up, Locker Nuts? It's Friday morning at about a eh, quarter to ten-ish. For some reason, the office isn't open. Not exactly sure why. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure why, but because you need to get in the office to get a cart. But luckily, I brought the dolly, and uh, I got the tools of the trade here. We got some bins for putting the better stuff. Got a garbage can, and because that's how I roll, and got the trailer. Boom. So it's nice and chilly today, and I like that when I'm working, it keeps me cooler. Uh, I'm not sure why early August is so dang cool, but I'm not complaining. So we're gonna get to it and see what we find. I'm, I am really excited about this. All right, you guys, we are here, and we're about to start digging in. How about some gloves, shall we? This is photos, and as it turns out, there are photos. And the lady did get the message to the front desk there that she would like to have her personal items returned. Well, of course, we do that anyways. So was that supposed to sit over the armchair? Hold your remote. Cool. It's actually kind of interesting. It looks older. Um, chuka chuka. Chuka chukan. T-shirt, probably a... Yeah, I was gonna say an Indian, Indian casino, and sure enough, gold resort and casino. Actually, gold resort. Guys, we found gold already. <laughs> there it is right there, gold. Hmm, maybe this wasn't the best box to start with. Netflix. So some of you young ones don't realize Netflix used to be a mail order service. You used to send in these in the mail and that's how you got your movies. You watched them and you put them in the stamped envelope or pre-addressed envelope or whatever and sent them back. Wait, hang on a second. Um, and there's a monthly fee and you could, ex you could have like two or three at the same time. And uh, it's amazing what they've evolved into. Look at this. So check that out. The watches. I think they're cheap, but they, uh, they're they new and it looks like it's men's and women's right here. Paul Newman collection. Huh, that's neat. What do you think, you guys? Is that worth something? I'm gonna look that up. I okay, found one good thing, Noah's gift card. We'll see if that's got any money on it. Hmm, so this one is sealed shut. However, this has been eaten out, and that's been eaten out. I wonder what was chewing on these. Hmm, huh. well, that should probably be a clue, but I still don't know what that is. Good grief. Here's what we got. We got like these wood trays with the metal piece right here. And you see this little notch cut out right here? It's kind of cool. I figure that's what those little pliers are for. They're for grabbing in there, grabbing it, picking it up. So what is this? Some sort of like fajita dish or something? It's definitely meant to be like a hot plate. So kind of cool. Um, should be able to sell that since it's brand new. Even if the box is kind of chewed up. It's weird. The whole locker itself doesn't smell like cigarette smoke. But, but that... Uh, Oh, this is vintage, but that box reeked of it, and we found the ashtray. But there's one thing about, you know, being at a live auction versus an online auction, is you get to smell it, and you can smell 
Typically you can smell if they're a smoker if you get in there and get a good whiff. But this one, I can't. I can't, unfortunately. That's kind of cool. It's an older shirt. That's a vintage shirt right there. Georgia Bulldogs. That's pretty cool. It's been cut out. I don't think people are going to mind it. Now this one right here, the 49ers. That's also a vintage jacket. You can see the tag right there. Was it? I don't. I don't know what that brand is. I think it's one of the main brands. I just can't read it right now. 49ers. That's pretty cool. It definitely is going to need to be cleaned up though. It's like not picking up right there. We go. You can see it's pretty stained up. I mean, it's it's really dirty and stained. But um, these uh, vintage clothes are hot right now. So Niners. I think that's another really old tag though. This is a tank top. Also, a lot of yelling, ye yelling, yelling. Hey, locker nuts. Australia for beer. No, not that kind of yelling. Yellowing. It's got yellowing. But um. I don't know. I'm going to give this a try anyways. Seahawks with the Snoopy. That's kind of cool. It's old. Again, these are vintage. Hayward, California. Far from sober. It's got lots of stains on it. That's a play on the old Volkswagen slogan. Arfig Nugent. Bonjour Sportswear from France. That's, that's got a really nice vintage look to it, doesn't it? That's a vintage starter jacket. 49ers, cool. Very cool. Alright, that's more of the kind of stuff I was buying this locker for. You know, I was hoping for some vintage items and looks like we're starting to find it. Just found something else too I'm not super happy about. Some rat turds in there. You guys liking this locker so far? I'm not. <laughs> The vintage shirts is so far the only good thing we've found. Everything else has just been ho hum. Minolta. Okay. Here's a little something. Especially for you, just because I love you so much. Love you always, your babe, Tracy. And she she really knows the way to my heart right here. I think that was meant for me. Have some photos. Okay, Oktoberfest. Oakland A's. AIDS Walk 2002. That's almost vintage. San Francisco Chronicle. San Francisco. And Oakland Athletics. And Oakland uh, A's. Yeah, I got some paperwork in the. Ooh. Now the lovely uh, cigarette aroma. Okay. This box is kind of interesting. Look at this. It's a German beer stein. And uh, that's th not $39.50 right there. That's. What is German? Deutschmarks? You guys tell me, but it's on sale for $27.50. I don't know how that translates, but it doesn't really matter because we don't know when that was purchased. That's a pretty cool one. Check that out. That's the biggest card ever in the world. Be my Valentine. Man, from Billy. <laughs> Way to go, Billy. I like your style. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, what? what? Oh. <laughs> That's actually a really nice little, uh, whatever you call it, a container. Look at that. Purple heart. So what we got here? We got a little happy face container with all sorts of mystery items in here. In a plastic bag is an Altoids. Oh, we found their secret stash. Secret stash. It's a nice little pipe. 
<laughs> mm -hmm. Just as I thought. All right, what do we got in here? What is all this? Someone's been naughty. Wait, what the heck is that? What is this, you guys? I don't think this is anything good right here. See that? That does not look good. Look at how many's in here. That is not Mayor J. Wanna right here. What do you think that is? Uh, that's not good. That's going in the garbage, but I have a feeling that's like some bad stuff. All right, you guys, you know what? Honestly, I haven't found uh, little bags like that with crystals or anything, and I found like little powder residue leftovers. Only guessing what maybe was in there before, but th there's a couple in there that have they got some stuff in there still. Maybe that is the reason. We're always trying to understand, like, why did this person lose the locker? Did they die? Did they go to prison? Did they run out of money? But often, so often, it's because of problems with drugs. Don't get here. Don't be, don't have your stuff on YouTube with some jerk like me going through it. Get some help. There's good help out there available. There's no approaching that kind of substances lightly. That's hard, that's dangerous, and you need to course correct. That's my advice to you, and if you're watching this and thinking that you're going to comment and tell me I'm judgmental and blah, 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 save the comments because I don't really care. Nobody's changed my opinion on that. This is, uh, this is some bad stuff, all right? Don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't. For the love of God, don't, all right? That the lo that's the Locker Nuts uh, lecture for the today. Now back to the action here. What do we got here? What is that? Look at that. That's a really old photograph. Wow, that's cool. You really actually don't see stuff that old that often. So this is for... Okay, this stuff here is for someone with the same last name, but a, a man's name. This is from 1948. It's an honorable discharge. Look at that. Such a beautiful document. We found we we have found plenty of these before, and um, I always just think it's really cool. Honorable discharge. He's decorated with the World War II Victory Medal and the Army of Occupation Medal. Wow. A very old Puma bag. That's definitely vintage. Those shoes have seen better days. Got in here. I see some change and some miscellaneous stuff in here. This bag is grody. It's cool. It's old. It's been gone through. What do we got here? Foreign coin. Some sort of a piece of rock or something. There's pennies. We just got some boxes out here, and guys, look what I found. That's a military bag right there. They, we, we couldn't see that at all. If we saw that, we would this this locker would have been bit up much higher. That's a military bag. We already found a little dog tag up there uh, that she was in the service. Also, father was in the service, served in the war. So this is a uh, this is very interesting. I can't wait to get to that. I'm definitely a little bit more excited now because so far we have not really found very much of interest except for those vintage shirts. Okay, guys, that military bag. Boom! Awesome, awesome. Gives me hope. Gives me hope because so far, this is all like take it or leave it stuff. Um, Could have passed, but the trunk, the military bag, I got two things I'm really excited about. But you know what? I'm moving way too slow. Like I've been here for, I don't even know how long, maybe an hour or two already. I haven't even got through that much stuff. So I'm going to put this on a little bit of a fast forward. I know you guys like watching the fast forward anyways. And uh, I'm going to start moving and grooving a little faster. All right. I'll stop the camera and we'll get talking if I find something good. Otherwise, enjoy the show.
box, we actually got some decent stuff here. We got some nice glass mugs right here, but they don't even look like they've been used that much. Got these plates. I've got a whole bunch of plates here to match those little small plates. Um, this is all kind of a hodgepodge here. It's decent stuff. We'll be able to sell that at the flea market. All right. We got the table off of here. And feels light, but I might be wrong. This is very similar to the other one that I got. Like very, very similar. A little push button right there. Ooh. All right. All right, you guys, we're going to speed it up here so we can get through this a little bit faster because there is so much junk. There's so much junk. All these boxes just had random items, tons of junk mail, letters, bills, just like she didn't throw away, I think, any mail for like the last 10 years. She maybe had a little bit of a hoarder um, problem, you know, problem with being a hoarder. So most of this was just like low-end flea market stuff. Um, dollar two dollar items but really the majority of it was trash and I don't know why she didn't just throw stuff away but it wasn't um, just the amount that was trash it was also just the randomness that was just a little huh, crazy look at that letters from a nut locker nut perhaps that was just a nice little find but I mean you see like there I find some screwdrivers we put that aside we sold that but um, wow just so much junk America online CDs I found them throughout the whole locker just ram stuff and there's batteries in there that have been popped like years and years and years ago so um, there's a few postcards that we got that was cool but most of this was just going to the trash That's actually really nice right here. Look at this piece. What are those? Those are acorns or walnuts rather. Those are walnuts. That... What the heck is that? Is that a dead mouse? Nah, that can't be what that is. Is that what that is? Nah. That sure look like it, but it's just a dust... A dust bunny. But look at that piece. That is really something interesting. Those are walnuts. Cut in half and like polished up. It's really dusty, but this is an interesting piece. I'm gonna put that aside. I get excited when I see things I had not seen before. Let me lower this just a bit. Because this piece right here is what I want to talk about. Look at this. It's on wheels. Um, it's a table, right? So it folds. The sides fold up. Look at that. That is really cool. Got like what do you call it? A piano hinge right there on both sides. It's this side over here. Also comes up, turns into a pretty decent sized table. And then uh, you can see right here. Oh, interesting. That goes down. There we go. That goes down. And these. Chairs. Right. Look at that. Isn't that neat? All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, sweet. Yes. There it is, you guys. This is what I always talk about wanting to find is the Leatherman's. That was a nice one right here. That's going to be 25 bucks minimum. Leatherman Blast, it says. Blast. That is a good one. Um, that's 25 bucks easy. Maybe more. Okay. I just got this box down. I look at the top of it and I'm like, what in the world has happened to this? Look at that. That's crazy. Crazy. Okay, all right, that's what we got. All right, this is kind of funny because that's how it was stored on its side like this. It says this side up, do not tilt. Don't even tilt. It says that side up, but then look, this is the side that's taped. I mean, the original seal. And this is the side that's been retaped. 
How's that for a mystery? I'm curious. All right, so why? It's just the printer. What's all the big to do about? All right, just saw that I took him a quick little lunch break, which consisted of a bottle of water and a cliff bar. <laughs> Basically, whatever's in the truck. But here's what we got. It actually looks like a little bit of a, a living room vibe going on in here. But we do have some room, don't we? We are making some progress, albeit very slowly. I've been here for about four hours now. That's embarrassing. Did I mention that doing videos really slows you down? <laughs> it does. Uh, I uncovered this, and that's very nice. This is a super old 49ers jacket. We have like two other 49ers jackets that are also vintage, but not. I don't think those are as old as this one. I might be wrong. This is all leather. The other ones only had leather sleeves. This is, uh, well, I'll have to look a lot closer, but it looks to me to be in excellent condition. Look at that. There's like not even any of those roly polies on the arms. It looks good. And there's the brand. It's a medium. Okay, one little update. We have these two boxes. We started peeking in this one, and it had military discharge paperwork for the father. And I just went down and talked to the gal in the office. She said that the gal who owned this asked specifically for the, one of those boxes or both boxes. She said of all the stuff in the locker, that's the only thing she cared to get back. And so certainly we're going to get those back as well as these two here. Uh, these are all also photos and personal documents. So, Okay, what's this? Look at that. Pinot Noir. Napa Valley. All right, so this is a newer wine. That's a French wine from 1990. Table wine. Sauvignon Blanc. A white wine. So, just a neat container. It's very rusted though, unfortunately. But they used it for wine storage. And what we got in here. I've done well with bats on eBay. You get the right bats, they can sell for some decent money. Okay. Got some old Reeboks in. Circus Circus. Some baseball gloves. Alright, got a mitt. Wilson. That's a decent mitt, isn't it? Leave a slugger. And an Easton Fulton. Fairly used. Alright, so that's good flea market stuff. Okay, we just got a few boxes down from up tall. So we can work on them and see what's to find. Let me see if I can uh, describe the smell. It's like uh, just a musty smell, like something that's been sitting for a long time. You guys see that? That's kind of cool. It's a tank top. Oh, this is cool. Hmm. I wonder if that's silver. Kind of looks like it might be silver. That is pretty cool right there. Here's another one. Southwest stuff's pretty... It sells pretty well. Levi silver tabs. Brand new. San Francisco 49ers. That's kind of cool with the quarter length sleeves there, or half length sleeves. Okay guys, I just came across something kind of interesting. I'm going to show you just a sec. I'm going to show you where I got it. So in here, I, was, I had just mentioned that there's these two boxes that the gal wants back. She only mentioned one box, and I said, oh, I think there's two. She said, well, I want the, she wants the one that has her dad's stuff in it. I figure she means the uh, honorable discharge paperwork, the military paperwork. So this one over here I pulled out because I want to get this cabinet out of the way. I want to clear one side so I can start making boxes of stuff that I'm come back for. For the flea market. So I pulled the stuff out of here, and here's what we got right here. It's a whole bunch of plastic bags. And then we got this. So what is that? Conjure Lantern Company, Portland, Oregon. This is uh this feels a little bit old. I, this is interesting. So I'm gonna put that in the box that I've made here, which is all stuff that I'm going to look up a little bit closer. This is what I really want to show you right there. But uh, let's see what else is in here. Yeah. 
This is leather. It's a photo album, huh? I gotta admit, my, I'm a little excited right now. I just like finding this kind of stuff. This is not your ordinary average stuff right here, is it? Oh my goodness. Look at this. Wow. Look at this, you guys. This is cool. But there are some old photos here. How cool is that? Who wants this stuff back? These are some great photos. This is really interesting. Wow, oh, look at that, it's so cool. Huh. It's Americana right there. <laughs> Farmers. That's pretty much what the majority of American occupation was, was in the farming industry at one point. Um, these are cool. Alright. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is definitely something of a bit more interest than most of what we're finding in here. But this guy right here. Look at this. Botany 500. It's definitely a well worn piece. What is this? Is that like some sort of a can opener? This watch here is in pieces. This pocket watch missing the glass. Ten years of Boeing. I wonder if Boeing stuff's collectible. That's a nice pin. It's very heavy. Interesting, huh? Alright you guys, we're gonna wrap it up right there. We showed you a lot of stuff, but what I didn't show you was like way more stuff that we had to go through. So much garbage. I didn't want to bore you guys. You saw me fast forward through a few of the scenes. I just want to give you a taste of how much stuff I had to sort through to get to just a few interesting items. But let's look at the next episode. We're gonna show you a lot more good stuff to come out because the deeper I got I did start finding a little bit better stuff but it also got dirtier there was a mouse infestation in there and not at the facility wherever she stored her stuff mice had gotten in made a wreck of stuff 
and then she put it over here. I don't know why she didn't clean it out before putting it in storage. It boggles the mind, but we got through it all. It took a long time. We're going to show you the best of the best in the next episode, and don't forget, we've got that military bag, and we've got the trunk. We're going to go through those next time, because those were pretty exciting. All right, but I thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this sort of thing, if you like watching us go on storage locker adventures, because you know we love it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you know when we have new videos up. All right, until next time, look for part two coming up here very quickly. Good luck to you guys. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. I haven't found really much of anything yet. One thing I just found, I went through the rest of that box. It's like either trash or low-end flea market items. I just found... Never mind, I thought that was a a, a thing of cologne, it's brandy. Huh. Dang it. Can't sell brandy.